Hello tubers! Right, today, is it worth buying second-hand RC cars? Let's find out. This is the model in question. I've got it off eBay for £30. It was a collection. It was about 140 miles away. I had a friend up around the location. This is being sold. They grabbed it. Three months later, I met up with them, and here it is. Now, I have had a little look at this so far, so I know there's a couple of little issues but it is absolutely mint looking. And I won this for around 30 pounds. Let's just show you the underside. As you can see, I hope that comes up, very clean. And the body, as you can see, is absolutely mint, bar the rear spoiler missing one of the side bits. Not the end of the world. Now this is an old model. For that sort of money, you do tend to get old models. Now, came with the transmitter. All of that is complete. It even came with a litre of old fuel. <coughs> it's nitro, so it's a bit of a laugh for me. It's even got the glow plug, the charger for that, the original manual, the original toolkit, and a few spare screws and R clips. So generally, for 30 pounds, that is a lot of car. Now, the good thing about this is, if this does go tits up, I have my original Kyosho. This is electric, but a lot of the drive components, uh, drive components, a lot of the suspension and things are all the same. So it's not gonna be a complete uh, waste of time or money. The wheels will fit, the differential's all the same, front diff, rear diff. It is literally just how it's powered and the central drive shaft. And perhaps on a quick glance, it might have a different chassis. Right, let's talk you through what is actually wrong with this. I've only had a quick look at it. It was listed as unused for about 10 years. That's a long time. Let's pop the body in this box. Right, the engine is seized from where it, I have pulled it apart and put off, taken the glow plug out and soaked that. But everything else, is supersonic clean. Let's bring you in so you can have a proper look at what I'm talking about. Right, as you can see, tubers, it is supersonic clean, all works, nothing's gone wrong. It's just literally just that. I've unseized these before. They're not easy to do, but they're not difficult either. I have got the antenna tube. We'll worry about that later. We will retrofit this with something more modern at some point. Everything goes how it should be. I haven't tested the receiver or transmitter. We'll do that now quickly. I'll battery them up. Right, tubers, we're back. You can see I've taken the receiver cover off. I've put some batteries in that. I've switched it on previous to doing it live with you guys. So I know the answer already. Look at that. All works as it should. So that's great. I mean, let's look at it this way. Even if I can't unseize this motor, I've got a working 27 megahertz transmitter and receiver. I've got two working servos, which is all good. And I've got a complete spare. So that's fantastic. Now, if you want to see what happens next, I am about to start ripping this apart and getting that motor can, you know, the, the nitro engine spinning. I'm not gonna do that in this particular video. I will leave a link, however, to the video that I'm referring to, which you're gonna see all of that. Anyway. Right, and tubers. I've unseized the motor. That sounds brilliant. Now, I haven't gone through this with you, but the carb was C solid as well. Let's get a little bit of fuel in this. Give that five minutes to charge, and we'll see if we can't get this bugger started. Oh, I've got to just put the exhaust screws back in and the exhaust mount. That'll all be done. Be back in five, four, three. Right, that's all done, that's all on. All right, what we're going to have to do, whoop on me, is we're going to have to prime this. Uh, oh, it's got self prime. I didn't even notice. Mm. That. That's 
bet one of the things have gone so dry in it. Right, and tubers, it's all back together. It's all working. I'll show, we'll go over the electronics later on it because I dare say the servo wants setting up again, but for the benefit of this, can we get it started? It's all primed. Right then, tubers, I'm not going to lie, I've um, tried to get this started about three or four times and come to the conclusion something wasn't wrong. There was a bit of misting going on underneath the cylinder head, so I've just tightened them down and first pull, I kid you not, I wish I'd have had the camera running. Here we go. <laughs> Right then, tubers, as you just saw, I've got it running. It cost me £30. It was seized, the carb was seized, but I've cleaned all that up, got it all moving, and the only real issue was, for some reason, the cylinder head bolts wasn't tight enough. And there we go. What a result for 30 quid. So yes, it is worth buying second-hand uh, RC models off YouTube. Sometimes you're going to, off YouTube, off eBay. Sometimes you're going to get lucky, like I did. Sometimes you're not going to. That's just the luck of the draw. You don't need a great deal of experience, but if you're new to RCs, I wouldn't suggest doing it. Um, play around with an old one. It's not going to cost you much money. And see what you can learn from that then perhaps invest in, or even invest in something dirt cheap like this and have a crack at it. But don't go wasting too much money because sometimes it might not plan out the way you want to. I got lucky. Anyway, till next time, tubers.